Hello and good afternoon, everyone. And um, thank you so much for joining us for the inauguration function of Renaissance Click at Mayura. So before we begin with the program, let me highlight its sequence. First, we have the welcome note by Ms. Rosie Tepp, Department in Charge English. The inauguration of Renaissance Click at Mayura by Ma'am Kahor Reling, Assistant Dean and Supervisor for the Higher Secondary. The Inter-College Photography Contest by Ms. Rosie Tepp, Department in Charge of our English Department. The Inter-College Poetry Selling Contest by Ms. Rongsen Nungla Pongen, Assistant Professor, English Department. And the Story Writing Contest and Caption Writing Contest and Concluding Remarks by Sir Anjan Bera, Assistant Dean of School of Humanities, Business and Economics. So now I'd like to give the time to Ms. Rosie Tapp to give the welcome note. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope I am audible to you all. Okay, thank you so much for being here with us today. We are indeed very pleased to have you all for the event launch of Renaissance Click at Mayura. Uh, Renaissance Click was originally initiated in 2013, which promotes a healthy spirit of competition and excellence. And today it marks um, the seventh year of the launch of Renaissance Click. And we are so proud to be able to host it today to a digital platform and share these moments with you all. So, and we also feel that your patience will help us all to unite and the energy we create is what we allow us to achieve our individual as well as group goals. And we need you as much as you need us. And that is why we are so grateful even today to have you joining us for this event. Uh, during the next few months, uh, we will be learning about the different initiatives through our planned activities, uh, webinars, and special events where you will be able to join in and get hands-on experiences. And I hope this will help you grow to be more productive and smart as well. Uh, before we get started with the event, I would especially I'd like to take this time and thank the department, teachers, students who have generously put their inputs in making this event come together and to become a success. And I also express my sincere appreciation to Sir Anjan for his valuable time in preparing the event meticulously. And of course, we couldn't have done it without you. So thank you so much. Uh, everyone and thank you for this time i am really looking forward for your participation and your contribution ahead please have fun and enjoy the the department fest thank you everyone thank you miss rosie for the warm welcome now i'd like to call ma'am kahor Raleigh for the inauguration of the Renaissance Click at Mayora. Ma'am, you can take the time. Thank you, Yavisa. I hope um, I'm audible and you can hear me. Um, as Ms. Rosita has mentioned, this Renaissance Click was first started in the year 2013. And so let me just uh, take a few minutes to reminisce a little bit about what you know we um, did all through these years um, before I um, integrate uh, uh, first. Um, here in, on the screen, you can see that's the first, uh, you know, the banner that we had for the first Renaissance. This and this banner was uh, made by our students uh, themselves. We had uh, started this first with the objective to provide a platform to uh, the students, to the, especially to the English honor students, to expose their talents, 
and uh, work as a team and compete with each other in a healthy environment. And you can see here, the, this is the enactment of the drama here. Then, yeah, and then you can go ahead and you can just go through a little bit of, of some uh, of the pictures through the years of this of the debate, essay writing competition, face painting, 12 minutes to pain. Okay, so drama enactment and all this, everything were included in um, the Renaissance clip. And as the years went by, more items were included in the fest also. And this year, I believe there, uh, there will be um, but a lot of changes, especially because of this pandemic also. And uh, this, uh, this for the first time is going to be held online. And I believe it's going to be really exciting. Um, in the last few Renaissance, um, we had had some really wonderful performances, especially when it came to this 12 minutes to fame. That was something like so exciting where the whole class um, you know, performed for 12 minutes, different items, and they competed with different classes. And since it was a competition with different classes, um, it was so exciting, you know, the way the students uh, prepared for this renaissance. And I believe the English, uh, English students, you know, they looked forward to for the renaissance every year. And we had also had some really um, good essays um, in uh, these competitions, uh, uh, which were published in uh, Degree of Thought also. And um, uh, even caption writing was also something that was so exciting because we, we used to have some really interesting captions, you know, some, some were really humorous, some were very witty and things like that. And so it was, uh, you know, something that we really looked forward to. In the last um, few years that we had had this renaissance quake, um, normally we uh, have it on a particular day. And as, or sometimes we'll have the essay competition, the caption writing competition before that uh, particular date. And on the, on the main day, the rest of the items, we used to have it in that manner. But this year, I believe it's going to be stretched across um, the months and there are going to be uh, more items added to it also. And as I looked at your um, it looks like it's going to be really interesting this year because it's going to be inter, inter college. And so I hope that you people will um, take this opportunity and make use of this opportunity to, you know, to explore yourself and to expose your talent also and learn new things. And this, this is a platform where, you know, we really encourage you to work as a team um, because uh, there's a class-wise competition, and at the end, the class which scores the highest mark uh, is, is declared as the um, what, um, winner of the year, the class of the year. Okay, so um, I'll encourage all of you to take part in this competition. Encourage each other, help each other, and um, learn new things. And I hope and I believe that this experience will be a really wonderful experience, especially for the uh, first semester students for whom this would be the first renaissance click. As for the seniors, you guys have already um, had the renaissance click last year also, so you have an idea of how it is conducted. So I believe you, um, all of you will enjoy this renaissance click. You will learn new things and uh, you will, in the process, I hope it will be really beneficial to all of you. And I also, um, I'm really, um, Glad to see, you know, the way the department has worked through it. I congratulate the teachers of the department, the students of the department for coming up with such wonderful ideas. And this year it seems to be really interesting. And um, I wish you all the best uh, to have a wonderful Renaissance click. And so with this, let me go ahead and launch the Renaissance click. So um, now I declare the Renaissance Click at Naira 2020 open. Thank you. All the best.
Uh, thank you, ma'am Kaur. Kaur. Now, uh, let's get to know about some of the events which the department is set to conduct. So the first event that we have is the Inter-College Photography Contest. So for this, I would give the time to Ms. Rosie Tepp to give the insights. Uh, Ms., you can take the time. Okay. Thank you, Yavisa, for the time again. Okay, so I will just take you to a little bit, a very brief introduction about the inter-college photography contest, which the department has planned out for the for the for the activity. Okay, so this uh, photography contest, this contest is going to be it's going to be open to all the students, right? To all the students, high, uh, undergraduate student and the postgraduate student stu studying in Nagaland. Okay, so this contest is going to be open to all the students, and in this contest. The team we will have we have a specific team for this uh, particular contest. So the team of the con of this competition is is beauty amidst darkness. So you have to you have to apply you have you must um and you must be in accordance with the team, right? So this is how we have to go about, and then the image, the image must contain the original work created and taken by the participant. So please ensure that it is in compliance with all the legal and copyright requirements and water, watermarks, logos, or any other uh, visible references on the image will not be accepted. But anyway, basic, basic editing, including the use of filters or color enhancement, um, cropping of the photo is acceptable provided uh, any such editing must not it must not affect the authenticity of the uh, of the picture so the submission will be done via google form which uh, the link will be provided with you all it will be provided with you all and uh, the detailed information will be given out in the student intranet you can always check out the details all the details will be there so this is just for your uh, for your brief idea. This is just a brief idea about the photography contest, and the deadline to submit this uh, uh, this picture. The deadline to submit is um, on sixth November. Right. This, this is going to be the deadline for your submission, which is going to be open for the colleges in Nagaland. Before before I end, I would like to introduce also the judges the judges of the photography contest so we have very interesting judges for this contest and i am sure you have seen um you must have seen the poster already though it's just a few minutes a few seconds slide um here the judges the judges are from nagaland are from nagaland itself uh, they are they are you know prominent judges prominent photographers and we might have, or you might have come across these uh, photographers uh, somewhere, somewhere, or we have seen them somewhere. Or we have the first, uh, we have the first um, judge. Uh, her, she is uh, Vadubalu Kuso of Vadubalu Kuso Photography. Uh, her her studio is associated with Instagram page as well. You can always, uh, you can always. Find out more about her photography in, in in her Instagram page. We have the next uh, next judge Abu Yiki of Abu Yiki Photography. The third judge is Jimmy Lota of the Red Journey Studio. So they are going to be the judge for the inter college photography contest. And I am sure some of you are very interested in photography. And which is why we thought that this will be a great platform for some of you. So please take this, uh, take advantage of this opportunity and participate in this um, in this opportunity uh, uh, for this photography contest. Okay. So for for further details, for detailed information, everything will be posted in uh, student intranet. Please have a look at the student intranet later after the event launch of this um, of this program. Thank you so much for this time. Thank you, Miss Rosie. 
Uh, now we have Ms. Rongsengnungla Pongen, who will be speaking on the Inter-College Poetry Selen Contest. So Miss, you can take the time. A very good afternoon to all. Uh, I hope my voice is audible. Okay, the next competition is the Inter-College Poetry Writing Contest, Poetry Salon 2020, organized by the Department of English as a part of the Mesa Fleet 2020. Uh, for this competition, we have an esteemed panel of judges. Uh, let me give a very brief introduction to our judges. Firstly, we have Dr. Lana Sangha Didier. She is the chief editor of Heritage Publishing House in Malpur. Secondly, we have Ms. Renton Shitri. She is a poet, educationist, and a singer. She is passionate about writing poetry and has two publications under her name, Of Life 2015 and She, Love, and Other Poems 2019. At present, she is a postgraduate teacher, Department of English, Delhi Public School, Timapur. Last but not the least, we have Ms. Swapna Behera. She is a trilingual contemporary poet, author, educationist, critic, translator, reviewer, social worker, environmentalist, and editor from Odisha, India. She has received several outstanding recognitions for teaching excellence. Her stories, poems, and articles are widely published in newspapers, international journals, magazines, anthologies, easies, and translated in different languages. So this will be our esteemed judges. Okay, uh, moving along, I just want to share a few guidelines for the Inter-College Poetry Writing Contest. The submission is open to all students pursuing their higher secondary studies, undergraduate and postgraduate courses from any higher secondary school, colleges, university within Nagaland. There will be only one entry allowed for one participant. The theme for this competition is dreams. The poem must be in English and it should not exceed 30 lines. The contestants must submit the poem in doc format only. The entries will be judged on creativity, relevance to the theme, language, poetic devices, artistic splendor. All entries must be submitted via Google form uh, in which the link will be provided. The last date for submission of the entries is 6 November 2020. Um, for this competition, there will be three winners on three categories and uh, one winner from each category okay the from one from higher secondary level one from undergraduate level and another from the postgraduate level so uh, for more details please go through the uh, student intranet and you can contact english department at thatsocollege.org thank you Thank you, Ms. Rung San Nungla. Now we have <coughs> Sir Anjan Bera, who will be giving a brief explanation on the story writing contest and caption writing contest, as well as giving the concluding remarks. So, sir, now you can take the time. All right, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the launch event of Renaissance Click. It's so great to see you virtually. I do wish that the event was uh, being organized where we could see each other face to face. Now, as Ms. Fahor Raleng has mentioned, Renaissance Click was something that uh, all of us in the department would look forward to. It was an amazing festival. We hope to bring some of the splendor back in the events that we have planned uh, for this year as well. All right. Uh, so before I go into my concluding remarks, let me cover the rules very briefly of the two final events that we have for now. All right. The first is the story writing contest for the Tetsu higher secondary students. Uh, this contest is open only for the higher secondary students of Tetsu College. Um, and uh, basically what needs to be done is there is a picture. Students have to see the picture, write a story which is relevant to this picture and win. We thank Mr. Jimmy 
is Jimmy Lothar of the Red Studio, uh, Red Journey Studio from Instagram, who has been kind enough to let us use his picture for this event. All right. So let's quickly go through the rules. This contest is open to all higher secondary students of that college. You basically have to see the picture, write a story based on what you see, and win. If your story is good enough, you'll actually win the event. The word limit for this is 600 to 1,000 words. And the submission will be via Google Form. Now, the Google Form links, as you must have heard, for each of this event, we have different Google Forms. And all of these links uh, will be sent to you via Google Class, uh, via your student intranet. So you will be getting all of these links by this evening itself. All right. And the deadline for this event is 6th November. So I do request all the higher secondary students to make use of this and take part in this very fun contest and write a story and win prizes. Right. Uh, and before we go to the next event I'd like to introduce the judges for this event we do have a special panel of judges who are there to, to help us out with choosing the winners for the story writing competition Ms. Tatom Kalapongin who is the head of the department of history Mr. Gaurav Singh who is the guest faculty in the department of English and Mr. Pong Sangrao Sangwaling the department in charge of sociology so three of them are going to be in charge of deciding the best story out of all the submissions that we receive. So thank you so much to them. The next event is the caption writing contest for TEPSO faculty and staff. Yes, why should students have all the fun? So we do have one event for the TEPSO faculty and staff, and this event is open to all the staff members and the faculty of TEPSO College. Now for this, uh, basically what needs to be done is they need to look at this picture and provide a suitable caption for this image, all right? And let's go to the rules. The contest is open to all that so staff and faculty. They have to see, you have to see the picture, write a caption based on what you see. The word limit, of course, is 15 words. Uh, since we cannot have such a long caption, the word limit is 15 words. The submission again will be via Google form and all of those links will be sent to you via student intranet by this evening. Uh, and the deadline for this would be 6th November. So the uh, caption writing contest is open only for the TEDSO staff and faculty. Uh, and before we go to the, before I go to my concluding uh, remarks, let's take a look at the judges uh, who will be helping us decide the winners for the caption writing contest. We have our vice principal, Okay, Dr. Hewasa Lorin, who is the first judge. Sekulo Lorin, the director of the college, will be serving as our second judge. And Ms. Kahor Raleng, assistant dean, will be our third judge. So I also thank them for taking their valuable time and agreeing to help us with judging the event, the caption writing contest. All right. So these are the events that we have planned for now. Okay. Uh, but please note that this is not the end of Renaissance Click. This is only the beginning or the starting. Uh, this Renaissance Click Fest will continue till March. 2021 okay and we will be concluding this event only in march 2021 hoping of course that by then we would be back in campus and uh, with some rules and some particular specifics in place we might be able to have the uh, 12 minutes to fame on campus but even if we don't we'll definitely end it uh, in march 2021 only which means from now onwards you will be getting to see a lot more interesting competitions and events happening as part of this fast renaissance click uh, there will be more competitions which will be held we have planned for face painting we have planned for greeting card making competitions and a lot more other such interesting competitions and students i would also like to recommend you or it or or you know reach out to you to let us know what kind of competitions you would like to have apart from what we've planned so we can all have fun and enjoy uh, because you know your experience at that so is incomplete as students of English honors it's incomplete unless you you, uh, you do enjoy your guys split so do reach out to us with your with your with your ideas as well uh, but for now these are the four competitions so please do take part and have lots of fun and reach out to your friends as well those of them who cannot join us today and there are some events which are which are inter-college as well so reach out to your friends uh, in other institutions as well let them know about this event and let them also join okay uh, I would also like to take this opportunity to thank all our former students who have also joined in. We have about seven to eight former students of the department joining in today. 
So thank you so much for your presence. It means a lot. Our esteemed panel of judges, some of them are also here today. Thank you so much for joining us. And of course, our former, some of our some of our former staff members, okay, department teachers, have actually also joined us. Those of them who were there when we began Nice Dance Click in the year 2013, your support uh, means a lot to us. So continue to support us by your presence and good wishes in the days uh, to come as well. At the same time, I would also like to thank all the teachers uh, who have come together and put this series of competitions for you, okay? Uh, even next week also another competition, okay, declamation competition is going to be announced. So you will have a lot more events and competitions coming up and it's all thanks to the wonderful group of teachers uh, that we have uh, and their their uh, hard work uh, is something that is always inspiring and so I would like to thank them as well. So for now, uh, this is all that the department has to say. We are very glad that Renaissance Click is, ba is back uh, and this is something that uh, the department has always taken pride of. Uh, this was the first department fest that Tetsu College uh, had. Uh, the English, English department was the first the first department to organize a department fest and we are glad to keep this tradition alive through the years uh, and we do hope that students you guys will also take part and make this event more fun than ever all right so I think with this uh, I would like to conclude uh, and uh, please do check on student intranet for, and of course our Instagram channel uh, as well as our social media sites for all the detailed information, the rules, regulations, Google form, okay, submission links, everything will be sent to you by this evening so you can put on your thinking caps and start working for your submission for the events of Renaissance Click at Mayora. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Thank you, Sir Anjan. So with this, we come to the close of our program today. And I hope that some of the events which we have discussed caught your interest. And so we do look forward to your participation in the future as well. So having said that, a very big, big thank you to everyone who joined us this afternoon. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay safe, everyone. Bye-bye.